Hello YouTube, I was actually working on another project when I came across this idea. So this basically is a Jewel Thief uh, motor. So here's the schematic. So uh, it's very high speed uh, motor, so it's a 9 volt battery over here and it goes um, into a, a coil. This is a 23 gauge coil and this is a 26 gauge coil. And the two coils are connected together so um, the the battery goes into the two coils and then the uh, 23 gauge uh, coil goes into a um, collector on the 2N3055 transistor and then um, the end of this coil goes into um, a potenti uh, potentiometer uh, I'm, I'm actually using 250k potentiometer here on the schematic it says to use 12k potentiometer because I actually think um, 250k potentiometer is an overkill so it, it's actually too big of a potentiometer but you can use whatever and then um, that will control your speed of your uh, rotor and then it goes to the base and then the emitter goes back to the battery and power source is this 9 volt battery so um, so okay let's see this this thing run Okay. As you can see, it's going very fast, probably several thousand RPMs. And it's a very simple circuit. You know, I, di I didn't have to wind any of the um, coils they basically I got them as uh, as they came it's basically a Bedini pulse motor without the hassle of having to wind your own coils it's very very simple anyway well um, let's all keep experimenting and uh, see I'm gonna try to slow down a little bit See, what all I'm doing is um, I'm adjusting the potentiometer, and you can make it slow down or speed up. See, there's this actually a sweet spot. You want to have some resistance on the potentiometer actually makes it go faster but if you have too much resistance it slows down so there's definitely a, a sweet spot for the potentiometer see there's a sweet spot anyway 